Hi guys, happy Friday and welcome to the Facebook Live for Friday. I am going to cover your questions here today. Uh, you can post them in the comments and I will answer them. Um, as well, we've had questions um, come up this week. I'm just going to take this off because it's kind of loud. Um, uh, one in specifically, and that's about cravings. And so I was going to cover that first for you guys today. Uh, cravings are really interesting to me. I absolutely have <clears throat> a very different perspective about cravings and what they mean and what to do about them than probably anything else you've ever heard before. Um, it's also a huge topic, so it's not something I'm going to cover every aspect of today but I can give you a pretty good summary and some really great tips and then in the second course the whole life reboot that you can take um, you know anytime from you know maintenance onwards is uh, gonna cover cravings in far more detail and help you really detach like for you what your craving is all about and what to do about it um, so for today though, I'm really excited to share a few things with you. So first of all, uh, the first thing that we have to do with cravings is we have to discover, is it real hunger or is it a craving? Okay, that's step one. So if you're getting cravings um, uh, on the program, first ask yourself, is it like hunger? Are you just needing more food? Or are you feeling satisfied from your meals and you're feeling, you know, not hungry in between meals or in the morning, but you just kind of have like one or two foods that's just on your mind and you're just like craving. So is it like a mental sensation of wanting it, like a feeling of emptiness and needing it, or is it actual hunger? Like is your stomach gurgling for food? Are you actually physically hungry? So that's important. Just start getting in tune with your body and figuring out like, you know, what is it actually saying? Because we're just so used to feeling a craving and then just t grabbing the food. And there's there's no space in between. We don't take space to like listen to the body and uh, ask it, oh, actually, is it even hungry here or is this a uh, craving? Uh, and is it not real hunger? So that's the first step. So on the program, it is really important. If it's true hunger and you're not getting what you need and you're and you're you think you're craving food, but you're actually your body's just hungry, um, then you need to really be looking at are you getting enough sleep? Are you stressed? Are you exercising? Like any of those things can put the body into a stress response and then it will make your body hang on to fat stores and then you won't be getting all the calories and all the fat that you need so it's really really essential to make sure that you're not hungry on the program and that you're getting your fat stores you're not stressed you're getting lots of sleep you're not exercising um, not too much anyway so if you're if that's all going well and you're like okay yeah actually it's not hunger it's true just a craving like I can't get you know peanut butter out of my head or chocolate or sugar or whatever the craving is for or bread um, another big one then uh, then we have to dive deeper into what does the craving mean and actually this is so fun like I used to be called a food detective for my clients because I, I love this I love figuring out like what is it causing the craving for you and when we correct that craving like we correct the reason underlying it then the craving goes away and that's far better than using discipline to just say oh I can't have it because then as soon as you do that you say oh I'm not gonna have cookies I have to be strong and be disciplined then of course all you're gonna think about eating is cookies all day long so we have to correct the reason underlying the craving and then those cravings just go away like magic so let's dive into that now okay so um, the first thing is if it's a real craving Here's a tip that you probably haven't heard or done before. Um, if it's not hunger and it's true craving, just observe, like just observe it, just watch it. Um, is step one. Just you know, feel the sensation. Notice where it is in your body. Is it actually in your stomach? Is it more in your mind? Um, is, is there an emotion? Observe what's this craving about? Just observe it and watch it, but don't just say, I'm going to give myself 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or whatever. But don't give into it and just sit on the couch and just observe what is actually happening, what emotions are coming up, what is really beneath this craving. And uh, that's the first step. 
The second step is we want to ask ourselves uh, what what our body needs. What is it asking for? Because there's a message in the craving. The body is actually out of balance somewhere, and it's asking for you to give it give it something to put it back into balance and the body actually doesn't tell you the exact thing it needs like it might crave sugar but it might be actually something else that it's needing but if you really start exploring you'll be able to figure out okay what is your body actually needing to regain that balance because that's always the body's goal is to stay in balance so um the way that you're going to start understanding what it is that your body's asking for is to know that there's three different types of cravings and uh, you need to figure out which one it is that your body is needing. Um, it's going to take some self-reflecting. So the first one that comes up a lot is a, called a supportive craving and a supportive craving is one that your body needs because it's like nutrition like you know it um, if it's lacking a, a mineral you might crave salty foods that's really common and that's actually your body saying it needs minerals um, another type of supportive craving would be uh, you're craving chocolate now often a craving for chocolate is a lack of iron or zinc uh, sometimes um, sometimes it's hormonal as well um, or you know if you're tired you know is your body needing sleep is it needing uh water you know like what is it that that you need to do to support your body is there a message in the craving saying there's something that your body's not getting on a physical level and then give your body that thing and i tell you the craving will just go away because that's just your body talking to you um we need to stop fighting against our body and our cravings and think that they're wrong or bad and we have to use discipline and uh, then when we can't, because we're fighting nature, um, then we feel bad about ourselves. And uh, we can't. This is our body actually like working for us. We need to honor it and support it and figure out what is our body needing here? What's it asking for? Start trusting your body. Start trusting the cravings. I have a thing called what is your craving saying? Um, you know, there's a message in it. So really start digging deeper what what is your body asking for is it supportive is it actually a nutrient that it needs um the second type of craving is called dispersive uh a dispersive craving is you know those are the ones that that are the, like you go for the bad food or the junk food or like you know the food is not good and you're like why is my body just wanting this crap um that's a dispersive craving and that can be simply um you're you're on a, a different level from nutrition wanting to feel like alive more stimulated you want to feel more of life and if that's the craving that you're getting then fix the issue in your life rather than going to food to fix the issue so instead of going to you know the alcohol or the chips or the I don't know, McDonald's, French fries, like whatever it is, like the dispersive craving is making you go for, take a step back, create some space and go, okay, actually my body's trying to talk to me here. What is it needing? And in that case, it often is stimulation. It's needing something from your life. It's, it's not feeling alive enough. And you might need to start, um, you know, doing something more, more adventurous or more active or, um, you know, more engaging, like are you, are you, you know, avoiding uh, socializing? Are you avoiding something in your life that your, your body needs? You know, it's not always just food that it needs or a mineral or a vitamin. It's quite often just like something that you're depriving yourself of in your life. And if your body's not feeling balanced there, then it's going to make you crave it in your food because that will give it a temporary balance. Like it will give it a, a temporary feeling of feeling good or stimulated or whatever it needs. And the body doesn't care. It just wants to get balanced as soon as possible. It's survival for your body. So you're bigger than that. You take some space, uh, start observing what's underneath it, start giving your body and your life what it really is asking for so that you can give it a long-term fix, not that short-term fix. Um, Okay, so the third type of craving, guys, is associative craving. And this one 
is interesting and I see it quite a lot actually in clients. So this is the one where you're associating the food to a past memory. Um, so like if you're missing somebody, you know, a food that kind of reminds you of them or something you ate together or food from your childhood. Um, quite often people have like food that their family ate, like whether they're from a different country or, you know, their ancestors, whatever, um, you know, even if it's that far back, those foods can have a deep energetic tie to us. And um, often we'll be associating it with something. So in this type of craving, um, you know, if it's healthy, then obviously it's fine, go for it. But if it's not healthy or you're craving it and when you're not hungry and it's, you know, it feels out of control for you, you might want to dig deeper into, again, what's under this, you know? Are there some unresolved emotions there? Are there some memories that you haven't really faced yet? You know, we can use food and these cravings to suppress those all these emotions and um, even suppress what we're not giving our our life like I said before like if our life is feeling flat to us um, you know we can suppress those those feelings and, and and not face those things in our life that we need to face with food because it will give us a temporary balance a temporary feel good but in the long term, we all know it's making us feel worse. And uh, it's not correcting the, the, the underlying cause, guys. So um, cravings are so interesting. I'm fascinated by them. Um, but the real key here is that we really go uh, start creating the space um, between just going straight from that voice in our head saying, I'm craving chocolate or chips uh, or whatever it is, and grabbing it, and then getting that short-term fix of feel good creating some space and just observing it and watching it and honoring your body saying, you know, it's craving this for a reason. It's actually trying to tell me something and uh, start just observing it for a while. Take note and start digging deeper and ask your body, like, what is it that you need? What are you asking for here? And uh, I tell you, it will always be something. And using discipline to try to avoid cravings is never going to work because you're fighting your nature. You're fighting your animal instincts. It's ridiculous. Um, we need to find out what what your body actually needs, what your life needs, create the balance um, and it will totally change things for you on so many levels and those cravings just go away. So then it's not this war against our bodies and food and cravings. Now we're working with it and uh, honoring it. So um, again, there's, okay, so that that's that's my topic for cravings, guys. It's like a summary anyway. Uh, in the Life After Reboot program, I have a lot more information coming for you on cravings and worksheets on how to figure out exactly what craving you're having and what that might mean that your body or life actually needs to create, regain that balance. Um, but if you just start with these steps um, to observe, sit with it, watch it and go deeper what's underlying it and asking your body and yourself what is it that my body is actually asking for here um it's just incredible what you'll uncover and um you'll be really amazed so um let's start with those and uh you know let us know in the comments if if you've had experience with this or if you've tried it with any of your cravings, um, you know, just observing the craving sometimes. It's it's not comfortable, uh, but if you do it, you know, all of a sudden, the real reason why you're craving the food comes to the surface and it's magic. It's really, really incredible. And then you'll just observe the physical craving just disappear. Um, it's kind of fun when we start respecting our bodies and getting in tune with it and um, honoring them. So um, that's it for today, guys. So I will let you go. Have a wonderful weekend, and we will talk with you all soon.